Hey guys, um, welcome to the channel. If you guys are new to the channel, welcome. My name is Ken, also known as Mr. Ken Dennis. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about how I realized I was gay and a little bit of my coming out story, I suppose. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys click on the subscribe button down below and also that bell so you get notified when I have a new video up. I basically do a lot of beauty, lifestyle, and I vlog about my personal life. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Whew, all right guys, so um, I didn't really want to do this video. I never really thought I would ever do this video, but here we are today. Um, it's been requested by a couple of people and you know what, I thought this is going to be helpful to someone at some point, so here it goes. So when did I realize I was gay? Um, short answer, I realized I was gay probably 15. I would say 15 because that was when I actually um, started to realize um, that I was attracted to the same sex. Um, if you guys are interested in hearing a little bit about how I came to this realization, like the journey of my life, um, definitely stay tuned. So let's start from the very beginning. I was born and raised in Hong Kong to a Filipino family. So mom and dad are from the Philippines, very Catholic upbringing. Um, growing up, I always knew that there was something wrong with me, something different. Um, you know, uh, whenever I would go to family gatherings, hang out with other people, um, people would always point out how I was very soft. Um, in Tagalog it would be, the, they always said like very malamia, malambot, um, which malambot means very soft. Uh, malamia, I have no idea what that really means. I think it means effeminate, very girly sort of like mannerisms and yeah, um, back then I always had this thought that I had to be very masculine, very butch, so everything I did I had to maybe put on a deeper voice and just um, try and just not react feminine. Yeah, it's just, you know, you when, when you're that young you have no idea and um, to have people point out that you're this, you're that and make fun of you for it is very, very hard. And, and it's always, it was always with um, other Filipinos. Um, other people from other backgrounds would never really say anything and I clearly remember that which is why sometimes I'm still very apprehensive hanging out with other Filipinos it's because of that because the the scars are still there when I say Filipinos it's usually people from the Philippines like not people that have grown up and lived overseas for a while they I find that they never really made fun of me except for the kids because their parents taught them these things and hopefully it's changed now but anyway so growing up I always felt that I had to hide um, even though I didn't know what I was hiding um, I just you know I had to pretend that I was very masculine very butch because that's what um, society basically dictated. Um, I remember when I went on a roller coaster um, and my mum would always get angry when I would say no and always say like are you a boy or not like you should go because you're a boy um, and you should be brave and you know I forced myself to do a lot of these things because my family said that I was a boy and I should do this. Now, I don't want anyone to be attacking my family or anything down in the comments below. Um, I'm just giving you guys a story. Um, my family is very accepting of who I am as a person now. Um, it was also a journey for them to realize and just accept me for who I am. So, you know, that was the past, all forgiven, don't really need to make an issue about it so don't leave nice to comments down in the comment box down below. I remember there was a boy in one of my classes like I was probably like um grade four five six around that age um, I remember I had a crush on this boy and I um felt so guilty that I felt this way about another boy. I told my mum and I told my dad and I remember this day um my dad, my mum and dad took me to Oliver's Super Sandwich. Um, I remember it was in the Wan Chai Central area, somewhere along there. Um, and my dad just very calmly had this talk with me. He wasn't angry or anything, um, but he just, I, rem I think, I don't actually remember what he said to me, but I think it was to the extent that you know that this is wrong and um, you shouldn't be feeling like this way towards a boy and you should just, I, like, I don't think he said forget about it, but it was something along those lines. Um, anyway, again, don't leave hate comments about my family, it's just stuff they had to go through as well. Um, and yeah, that was one example of like how I just felt like I had feelings for a boy but never really 
acted on it because one I was scared that I was going to be teased even more I was already being teased for being gay even though I didn't know I was gay another thing that I suppose my parents already know just that I was playing a lot more with the girls um so like jump rope that sort of thing I decided to play around with them as well because I don't know I just enjoyed jump rope I just, it was fun and then high school came around and it was pretty much the same story I tried to butch myself up to be like you know not picked on um, but it was a very easy target I, I think um, I sounded a little bit different compared to everyone else and you know I was again have a little few gestures here and there um, I remember I was bullied um, by a guy um, I think maybe one year above me and I just felt so sad like every day I felt like he was just bullying me and making fun of me um, you know he would just you know make gestures about like how feminine I am like Ooh, mm -hmm. and you know when you're at that age and you don't really know what's wrong with you um, it was complete and utter torment. Um, I, like, looking back now, I actually feel a little bit emotional now because I remember how I felt back then being so scared, like, what's wrong with me? Why are they teasing me? And the people that I went to school with all made fun of me as well. Um, oh, I wasn't supposed to cry at this one. Um, I remember they, um, they were my friends, but some of them would always just say, oh, Kate, my nickname back then was Katie, and they always said, like, oh, Katie's gay, Katie's gay, and when you're young and you have no idea what's wrong, someone to do that to you was, it's a lot, it's, it's hell of a lot of stuff to take in, and, um, yeah, just, it wasn't a good time. Anyway, on a saucier note, um, it was also the time my hormones started to kick in. And when you're a teenage boy at that age, you end up looking at adult films. Um, don't ask me how I got to watch adult films when I was that age, I just found a way. Um, I started watching heterosexual adult films and um, I found myself actually gravitating towards more of the towards the guy's genitalia, um, as opposed to the female's genitalia, and then I progressed to watching homosexual um, adult films, and I guess that's when I started to realise maybe I'm, maybe I'm bi, you know, like, some people use the excuse um, when they're in denial, they use bi, not that I'm saying bisexual people use that as a cover, there are actual bisexual people out there, but I just thought, you know, maybe I'm just bi, um, because I'm still watching this heterosexual porn, um, but I'm just more into the guy, I look, it was just, that's how my logic was. And then I suppose late high school, I probably had a little bit of experience with some guys, um, and then college came around, I had more experiences with guys and then I met my partner then, um, my ex-boyfriend then and uh, we were together for pretty much the whole time I was there for college, um, four years and four years and a half, um, I think that relationship lasted. Um, he was in the closet, I started to come out of the closet, it was a very toxic sort of like relationship. If you guys would like to watch a video of me talking about it, I'll have a really really old video down in the comment um, description box down below. If you guys would like me to make a new one, definitely let me know. Um, I, accidentally, I accidentally came out to my parents probably when I was around the 17-18 mark. Um, so, I like I said, I was in the Philippines for college, I went back to Hong Kong for the summer or was it like the Christmas break, I don't really remember. Um, I used my mum's phone to text my boyfriend because I had ran out of credit um, and I didn't realise I didn't delete. Um, this was the time when smartphones were just coming along and um, yeah, I didn't, it sounds so horrible but I didn't really think my parents knew about the scent box <laughs> and I completely forgot about it so um, my mum saw it and then um, rang that number and then she said it was a guy that picked up and then she confronted me like a few days later and I said oh no no, no that's a girl that I'm seeing um, she has a very overprotective family so she told me to use her brother's phone number blah 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 and I guess my mum already knew at that point that um, I was seeing a guy but she just kind of like played along because I wasn't ready to come out to her um, and I assume she told my dad um, because my mum and dad are very close, like they don't keep secrets or anything like that, and she knew that my dad wouldn't really react negatively. Um, 
And then I don't really remember how long I waited until I actually just told my mum over the phone. So I was already, I was back in the Philippines um, in college and I told my mum over the phone just randomly. Just like, I just felt like, okay, I'm just gonna tell you now. Um, and then my mum was crying over the phone and then she said like, oh, I'm so happy that you've come out now. You feel that, um, do you feel like, she, and then she said like, do you feel like you have this weight off your shoulders and at that point I felt like nothing's really changed because my I had a sort of like different life in the Philippines because when I, when I was in the Philippines people knew that I was gay um, like I came out to a couple of my friends and yeah I was already out there so it wasn't such a huge revelation for me so that's pretty much my how I realized and my coming out story it was very out of the blue it wasn't as dramatic as it wasn't as dramatic or explosive or such a huge thing i suppose um compared to other people because i did it over the phone and kind of wanted it to be like that that way you know they're away from me um my family's away from me so if anything does happen like if they act react negatively i don't have to be there physically because i don't think i was mentally prepared for um, their reaction, um, but it was a pleasant surprise. Um, I honestly didn't know how my parents would react. Um, my mum was very happy about it. Um, my dad was pretty much the same. Um, he rang and he told me that he loved me, so very supportive. I think my mum's parents, my grandparents, my grandmother in particular, probably had a little bit needed a little bit more time to process it. But you know, she accepted me with open arms after a while. Um, not that there was anything dramatic or anything negative that happened um my mum my grandmother just you know was just a little bit from I, I think my grandmother was just a little bit like in shock when she heard the news um but she just accepted me with open arms after that um but yeah um that's pretty much my coming out story and how I realized I was gay bullying in high school was pretty intense for me um even primary school it was pretty intense as well um but not for the sexuality reasons I don't think it was but if you guys would like me to share that story with you guys, definitely let me know. You guys know I'm an open book. I will share with you guys what I feel what I feel comfortable sharing with you guys. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up the video if you guys enjoyed. I will see you guys in the next video. I am going to have a chocolate bar to spruce up my mood. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys. Bye.